It is officially fall and I thought that I would celebrate by doing my very first day in the life video. It's about six o'clock here and so I thought I would sit down and just talk about what I did today. I chose a day that was very typical for me. There's a little bit of homeschooling, a little bit of gardening, a little bit of cooking, all the things that we usually get up to uh, around here but of course every day is different and so this is just a sample of some of the things that we like to do. Um, but before I get started, if this is your first time here, my name is Brianna and my husband Gray and I like to learn, practice, and teach our children traditional skills. Now, the very first thing that I do almost every day is make my coffee. And so I started the coffee. During the time the coffee is brewing, I usually throw in some laundry. Uh, feed my sourdough starter, do the dishes if I failed to the night before, which happens more often than not. Uh, so while the coffee was brewing, I went and gathered the eggs and fed my sourdough starter. Anxiously waiting to give you my name A second ten minutes fade Then you came walking my way Everything starts and everything changed When you came walking my way Oh I knew I'd found the one I love The rest of my days When you came walking my way simple at breakfast time so today I was just making scrambled eggs and toast <laughs> days I usually have the books out and when we sit down to breakfast that's when I start the lesson time but today I wanted to actually get out to the garden and do some harvesting before it got too hot so the mornings have been really cool here but it has been getting hot come lunchtime and so I knew that if I didn't get out to the garden and harvest our pumpkins uh, then I would be doing it in the heat and I really wanted to get it done today so I could start using them uh, since it's the beginning of fall and so the kids and I ran out to the garden and harvested the pumpkins. This year I planted, uh, I planted only three varieties, um, an apricot, an apricot colored pumpkin, a blue green, and a white. And one of the pumpkins must have been mislabeled because I also came up with these kind of buttery popcorn uh, little gourds and they're fine I didn't plant them but we also ended up with some of those and so we spent about hour and a half out there harvesting all the pumpkins and uh, the kids were running around eating grapes and picking peaches we have a couple late season peach trees and so we usually have peaches here on our property from about uh, late spring to early fall and one of our trees is uh, still producing and so the kids ran around in the cool morning with me and harvested and snacked and we got some morning chores done.
Of course, I didn't clean up after breakfast before I went out to the garden, and so when I came back in, I had a little bit of cleanup to do before I could set up our schoolwork. And so uh, I just wiped down the table really quick and set out our books that we would be using today. We've really been enjoying our new homeschool setup. I have a video on how I refreshed the space and it's been quite efficient to have everything there and uh, the kids really like seeing a visual timeline of what I expect them to get done as far as book work in the day and so they like seeing it crossed off and it helps me too because I don't cross off math until I've done math with all three of my school age kids and so it keeps me motivated during those three to four hours that we are doing intensive book work. And so um, some of my kids need longer than that and some of them need less time than that. But I'm typically busy with helping them for about three to four hours. And then if they need longer than that, that's usually independent work that they already know how to do, but maybe either weren't super focused that day or they just have more than uh, needs to get done. And so um, I don't show this part of my day just to protect my children's privacy, but I do want to note that the homeschooling portion of the day is my largest chunk of time that I devote. It takes the most of me and I enjoy it the most simultaneously, but it, it definitely is leaving a large chunk out of the day that you're not seeing. Uh, if I don't say that, we have a very large chunk, right, usually around breakfast to lunch that I'm devoted to doing that on school days. But this, however, is the aftermath. No matter how cute I try to make it, when we get into the throes of conversation and learning things, this is how it looks when we get uh, done. Whenever I am done with homeschooling, I like to regroup myself and refocus my energy on what the rest of the day looks like. Like. Usually those hours between when we get done with homeschooling and when I start dinner are the only hours in the day that I can get items checked off my to-do list that need to get done for the household. I like to grab my coffee and my planner and sit down and just think how am I going to use this next couple hours efficiently to make the most of my day. The things that I hoped to do today before starting dinner was to meal plan for the upcoming week and to get some of this pumpkin into the freeze dryer to put into our long-term food storage pantry. I also was gifted this really nice large cast iron skillet. Um, it wasn't in the best condition. It had some rust and it was dirty and so I wanted to spend a little bit of time restoring that today. And so if I could get those three things done before dinner, I knew my day would be a success. Um, and so now that I had my action plan, it was time to get to work. I started by doing my meal planning and getting those items up on the board. Having, the, having what our dinners are going to be visual for the family has been a real huge help in setting the expectations and everybody knowing kind of what to expect. I do have a blog post all about homestead meal planning. It looks a little bit different than um, to like just choosing what you want to eat and then getting the ingredients. I really try to utilize uh, what we already have, what's in season, and what I need to use up in our long-term food storage pantry and incorporate that into the current week's menu plan. So if you're interested in that, I will leave that blog post linked in the description box below. No day goes without cleaning and I had a lot of cleaning today. My zone for this day is the kitchen. I break my home into zones and so unfortunately this leaves me with not ever having a perfectly clean home, but I know everything's getting cleaned every single week and so I just focus on one area of the home. So today, since it's my meal planning day, I also like to clean the kitchen on this day. So I spent some time cleaning everything off and cleaning my stove and getting the kitchen prepared for any items that needed to come in to fill in my menu.
sometimes uh, these homemaking tasks like cleaning can seem quite mundane and I find a lot of inspiration in books and podcasts and quotes and I have a video about my 10 favorite homemaking quotes that I will leave linked down in the description box below if you are also needing a little bit of inspiration. Um, after the kitchen was clean I did a little bit of baking and started getting my pumpkin prepared for the freeze dryer. checking on the kids and all their projects I went and got that cast iron skillet that I wanted to restore and if you've ever done this you know that it takes a little bit of time to get all of that rust off and to get it clean and then of course re-seasoned and ready for uh, cooking and so uh, while I was working on that Gray came home for lunch so I made him a quick lunch and chatted with him while I kept working on the pan coffee in my cup the sound of your footsteps Waking me up, the face of an old friend you haven't seen in years. Stories turn to songs and laughter to tears. These things aren't a given, they're a gift to behold. Like the first leaves of autumn, our breath in the cold. seasoning in the oven. This was the time that I had to start my sourdough bread. My sourdough schedule usually looks like feeding my starter in the morning and then once it's doubled in size I make my tomorrow's loaves. So I threw together the bread dough and set that aside so that I could have it proofing overnight for tomorrow. Hold on to your hands in the garden the smile of a child Women in the river. Usually around four o'clock is the latest that I really want to start getting going on dinner. Um, sometimes I'll prep dinner while I'm just doing breakfast to make this time of the day a little bit easier. I tend to have less energy as the day goes on. Today, when it was about four o'clock, I started dinner. We're just doing rustic venison stew tonight. I have a video on, with that recipe that I will leave linked in the description box below if you are looking for a delicious stew recipe. We recently just brought home 125 pounds of corn that we wanted to get into mylar and up on the shelves going into the cold season. And so Gray and the kids worked on this together while I made dinner. Walking the last sweet mile, the first crack of thunder, the heavenly rain, all that gets taken all that remains these things aren't a given they're a gift to behold like the first sip of whiskey and dancing real slow time we typically have what we call family time and that includes our read aloud some Bible reading and just hanging out and talking as a family sometimes we play games but we usually go from uh, having dinner to a quick cleanup and then just hanging out together in the living room and that uh, is a typical day for us and I don't know if this was interesting to anyone <laughs> or not, but I love to watch these types of videos and so there you go, there's my contribution. Hope you were able to get some stuff done with me today and I will see you next time.